Well, we just think we we just think it's a big waste of time. That's all it is. 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 We should stick our fingers all in them and feel around. Clay World, without a doubt, is one of my most favorite animated series on YouTube. I have witnessed these blue blobs of clay clumsily stumble through existence from 2008 all the way to 2014 when it ended. Clay World was created in 2003 by this lovely fellow called Robert Benefer. He first uploaded his animated clay shorts to the website Newgrounds, but in 2007 he uploaded his first Clay World video to YouTube. Stomachache was uploaded in February of 2007, just about two years after YouTube had been launched. It did fairly well, but Robert didn't hit gold until later that year when he uploaded Pancake Mines. We should stick our fingers all in them and feel around. No, do not do that. Those are landmines. Do you understand me? Pancake Mines was one of his most successful videos, getting him over 6.1 million views to this current day. But what is Clay World? Well, Clay World is a series of short slice of life videos that cover the uh, antics of these blue claymen. Most of these things are quite simple, nothing too special about them, like going for a swim in a swimming pool or playing a sport. The real comedy comes from how these claymen react or manage these situations. These claymen are just simple blobs of blue clay. They've got very limited movement in their arms and their head, much like the inmates at the gulags. The claymen are also incredibly stupid. Some of them are outright idiots, where logic does not apply to situations and they cannot comprehend what they are doing. I'm gonna call my friend John. Right now. Hey John, guess what I just found. Others are a bit more sophisticated, but even that is limited. Do not do that. Those are landmines. If you touch those landmines, you will go boom. And this is where the comedy stems from. Clay World has the familiar elements of the real world, but the way that they apply their logic to these scenarios and situations really does create for these absurd situations and events. Let's take, for example, the occupations of Clay World. Most of the time, these claymen just hang around, doing nothing, talking. Some of them, however, have got themselves jobs. You have the police force, which really just comes across as a bunch of claymen who have stuck a badge on their chest, got a gun, and loosely enforced whatever law they think exists. The only person I slapped was a slapper. But that doesn't count. That was for the law. You're all under arrest. Go to jail. The claimant in that episode got off pretty lightly, considering the justice usually dished out by the Clay World police. Okay, what'd they do? Well, look! They got- they- they, uh, they got the girls, blah, What? They, the, blah. You- you brought me all the way down here just for that? I'm gonna shoot you in the face! That's what you get for wasting it off the policeman's time. Yeah. Another example of Claywell's highly unprofessional workforce is this lifeguard at the swimming pool. It's a safe bet that he just showed up and put on a life vest and said that he was the lifeguard. Yo, lifeguard! Can we get in the swimming pool? Uh. -huh. Hey, you're the lifeguard, right? Yeah. I guard the life. Big deal. Another thing that's predominant in Clay World is its incredibly high casualty rate. A majority of the Clay World episodes have at least one Clayman perish. Usually it's out of their own stupidity, or some dangerous accident, or of a murderous Clayman. Sometimes for no reason at all. I like to sit on my pancakes. 
Cloverworld is an extremely well animated series. I'll explain later on in the video about its strengths that it has in its comedy. Around 70 episodes of Cloverworld were made, including one full length movie, Off the Table, and a 20 minute finale, All Gone. The series ended in 2014. By then, the series had begun to run out of steam and Robert was losing interest. He wished to work on other projects. All Gone was a spectacular final episode. It wrapped up everything nicely and explained some things that were never really asked. For those who had grown up watching the series from the beginning, it was a satisfying way for the series to end and I was quite happy with how it turned out. <laughs> It's a bad joke. It's a bad joke. Yeah, it's horrible. I know. <laughs> well, looks like because it's October, I have to do something Halloween related, as by Imperial Law. I dressed up like a bunny for Halloween. Hop. Why aren't you guys dressed up? Well, we just think it, we we that, just think it's a big waste of time. That's all it is. Though there is a dedicated Halloween episode of Clay World, I want to focus on some of the other monster-related ones. What are we doing up so late? I'm tired. I already told you like twelve times that we're camping. Clay camping follows your traditional Clay World formula. This time, the Claymen have been put into a camping situation. But instead of messing up the actual practice of camping, they do something else instead. The characters of this episode are these three Blue Claymen. We have the funny guy on the left, his goofy friend on the right, and of course, this guy over here. He's the more knowledgeable one. He knows all the local legends. He introduces us to the fourth character and into the world of Clay World's deep and rich lore. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. But don't dilly-dally. No dilly-dallying from any of you. If you dilly-dally, the dilly-dally ghost is going to come out and eat both of you. That dilly-dally ghost? Obviously, these clay men are going to tempt fate. The funny guy does this by providing us with one of the greatest jokes ever conceived. Man, what the hell is... Oh, yeah, the joke. Okay. You ready for this? What did the robot say to the centipede? <laughs> Stop being a centipede! <laughs> and of course, this joke gets them into a large amount of trouble. Namely, the Dilly Dilly Ghost shows up. And I can assure you, he is quite terrifying. You guys are stupid. <laughs> the robot. <laughs> oh god, no! What? What happened? Ooh. It's the damn dilly dally ghost. You guys were dilly dallying too much, and now the dilly dally ghost has come to screw up Ooh. our camping trip. Blah, 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 Thanks a lot, guys. Yes, here comes the conflict of the episode a uh, tornado of destruction that is the dilly dally ghost. Mm. Oh god, don't destroy the nature. Mm. Oh, oh, you're destroying the mother nature. Is. Mommy nature. Mm. Oh. oh, a campfire. Oh. oh god, not the campfire, please. Oh. No, oh. no, you ruined my campfire. Oh, this is just not good at all. Oh. Well, for a table as bare as the one in Clayworld, this is equivalent to the Hindenburg disaster. So, our claymen are in a bit of a predicament. They're being cornered by the Dilly Dally Ghost, who's going to punch them in the noggin. And considering the high casualty rate of Clay World, things aren't looking too good for them. So, uh... Sure staying on the bottom for a while, though. Click. However, in typical Clay World fashion, the issue is resolved through the typical backwards absurdist logic. I'm not going to spoil the ending of what happens, I want you to go out and see it for yourself, but there is a nice payoff from the earlier joke, and somehow it satisfyingly works in this kind of story. The animation in this is really good. It's smooth, the movement is nice and fluid and realistic. What? This was the period when Robert's animation started getting better. 
It was less choppy than the previous animations, but it wasn't quite as smooth as his later ones. The voice acting is also extremely entertaining, as most of these Claywood skits are dialogue based. Robert bounces off himself quite well, with his various voices delivering the dialogue quite straightly, which makes it funny as most of the dialogue is nonsensical. What's he doing? Yeah, I don't know. Is he done? I guess he's done. Oh, oh no, no it's, it's the fist, fist again! The fist. <laughs> he's gonna hit me he's with his fist! Yes, I am. <laughs> Clay Camping is an entertaining video. I enjoy its comedic timing, its absurd premise, and of course the character of the Dilly Dally Ghost. I recommend that you go and check it out, alongside all the other Clay World episodes. Links will be in the description. You guys were the Dilly Dallying, and now you get the fist. Oh, oh no, god. not the fist! Oh god, not the fist. <laughs> run! Don't run! Oh, okay. okay. Well, that does it for today. Tune in next time for another episode of Stop Motion Stuff. I wish you all the best, and have a happy Halloween. What is all of this? What is the... What the... What the pancakes? Those pancakes!